Hey everybody, we're back. We're doing chi-squared testing. We're using gummy bears and what could go better? I'm Mr. Hayes. Hayes is World of Math here. We're going through the AP Statistics curriculum that statsmedics.com has put out. I have a link to my version of their notes down below. Please use that. And while you're down there, I also have a three-week review course that um, a colleague of mine, Christina Mallon, and I put together. It's all free. Use it for your classes. If you're a student, use it. Um, I've got all the chapters. I've got all the free response questions broken down by um, chapter. The links are there. The, um, I'll be putting videos up there as we go over the next couple of weeks. And let me know how it goes. I want to know how you did on the test. So make sure you come back and comment down below or shoot me an email. So gummy bears. We're trying to decide, is there a difference in the color distribution when we buy two different brands of gummy bears? Now, originally up here, it says Haribo and Nice. I believe the original Sasmatic one used whatever the Myers ones were over in Michigan. I could not find any nice ones because I was, remember this at the last minute? I know right, 2021. Um, and so I ended up getting Haribo and Black Forest. And so um, since we are back in school, gave them to the students, the students totaled them all up. And um, the first thing they noticed is that the Black Forest bags had a lot less, about half the number of gummy bears as the Haribo did. But the students made it up because, hey, they're organic, right? So here's our data. And then over here, how many samples do we have? We have two samples. We have the Haribo samples and we have the Black Forest samples. And what we're measuring is just color distribution. So how many red, green, yellow, orange, white? Side note to your teachers, if you're going to do this, Black Forest has a lot of the same colors. So use something else. Just plan ahead. Um, don't be like me. So where do we go from here? Well, what we ended up doing is that we're going to write down the hypothesis for the significance test. Now, Again, the null hypothesis is going to be the color proportions are the same. Okay, so there's no difference between the color distributions um, between Haribo and Black Forest. The alternative hypothesis then obviously becomes that there is a difference between the two. And so how do we go about measuring it? And why do you ask? So what we end up doing is this. Um, so we're going to use chi-square tests to see if there's a difference between the two. And so first of all, though, what we're going to do is we're going to come up with what the observed values should have been. Now, a um, couple of things here. Basically, what we're going to do, you know what, for now, ignore this bottom part. I will unveil it later. Don't worry. Okay. So think of it this way. What percentage of my total are red gummy bears? So you'd be like, oh, Mr. Hayes, that's easy. 316 divided by 949. Great. So if that's the case, so it's roughly a third, let's say, that means that about a third of the nice brand in this case, or Black Forest, I'm sorry, and a third of the Haribo gummy bears should be red, correct? So that's where we came up here. So since a third, you know, again, we're just doing roughs here. A third of 600 is 200. Okay, about 200. A third of 332 is about 110. Great. So that's how you go about doing that. Now, we need something that's a little bit faster than that. So what we can end up doing here is we have this formula here that I just hid. Come on. There we go. And it's this. Expected value, what you're going to do is you're going to take the raw total, which is over here, times the column total, divided by the table total. Now, notice here, raw divided by table. So 316 divided by 949 is our percentage. And then the column total is what's going to scale it to the two different populations. Okay. Um, one thing to find helpful here, so again, here, that is going to be here. That's your raw total scores because that's what we're trying to measure. Again, remember, up across the top, we're talking about the two different samples that we're comparing. Down the side is the variable that we're measuring. So the column total is here. So that's going to be this part here. And then last but not least, obviously, here. Okay, So you're going to go through and do all, each of those individually. So that's how we came up with these 10 numbers here. Ideally, what's going to end up happening is that they're going to be equally distributed. Now, you're not seeing it here. You're going to see it in the um, check your understanding problem. If these samples were the same size, these numbers would be the same. Okay, um, Because, again, you'd expect the proportion to be the same between the two. Um, and so if you, you don't see that here because, remember, if we look down here at the bottom, we had roughly two-thirds. We had twice as many Haribos as we did the Black Forest ones. And so, roughly... 45 doubled is 90, about 84. 59 doubled is 118, or 109. So you can kind of see what's going on there. And because of that, when you run your chi-square test, you don't have to run it on both 
sets of samples. You pick one, because if it's off for one, it's gonna be off for the other, um, because the expected values are going to be off for that. So speaking of which, let's jump to part two, or page two. So let's go through the full four steps on here. The hypothesis test is this. There is no difference in the color distribution of the two types of gummy bears. And their alternative hypothesis is going to be there is a difference in the color distribution of the two types of gummy bears. So I apologize for all the da-da-da-da-dots. Um, we were a little pressed for time when we were going through this. You give kids gum, you give sophomores and seniors gummy bears, and just imagine the fun that they're going to have. Um, and then try to keep them from eating it because they have masks on. Um, alpha is 5%. So if we move on, plan is going to be chi-square test for homogeneity. Um, why homogeneity? What does the prefix homo mean? It means the same. So we're looking for the same distribution all the way through. Okay. Welcome to prefix class. And actually, to be honest, this is one of the most helpful things that you can probably take. Um, so we've got checking conditions. You've got random 10% in large counts, same as before. Both um, brands of bags of bags are filled randomly. The 10% rule, 617 is definitely less than 10% of all Haribo gummy bears. 332 is less than 10% of all Black Forest gummy bears. Large counts. All expected counts were bigger than five in both groups. 59.1 was my smallest, and so that's definitely bigger than five. And again, as we fly through this, obviously, please pause as you need to. Um, so the do. There is my, exp this is, again, we're taking the sum of the observed minus the expected. We're squaring that, so we're getting rid of all the signs, plus and minus and stuff. And then we're going to divide it through by the x expected value. Um, so anyway, so we're going to do the Haribo ones. And again, you could, you'll could get the same number if you do the Black Forest. So you pick one of the samples, and we're going to see how far off they are. Because again, remember, since you're balancing them out to be even, that difference is going to be kind of the same on both sides because you're basically kind of, these are my two numbers and we're comparing it and we're averaging them. They're going to have the same difference between each side. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. So anyway, so a couple of things here. So your work is here. And again, like we said yesterday, you can just do the first couple of how we go through and do it. So here's the first one, the second one, dot, dot, dot. Degrees of, I might as well just move this all the way down. So your degrees of freedom is 5.1 times 2.1. So because we've got two different things going on here, you're going to take the number of rows, which is the number of different um, categories that we're measuring, or not different type of categories, the different values that in the one category you're doing. Less than one, because again, that's going to settle out that way. And then also with the columns, because again, since we're trying to look for homogeneity, since whatever isn't in Haribo has to go into the Black Forest. So that's why I reduce it by one. And then you're going to multiply those together. So in this case, our um, degrees of freedom here is four. Chi-squared picture. Um, so anyway, so when you go through and calculate this out, I got, or we got, a chi-squared value of 12.17. So there's my chi-squared test. You stick it either into table C or into chi-squared CDF and you get an answer of 0 0.016. So obviously we're under that 5% value. So then the last part here should be our conclusion. So because there is a 0 0.016 probability of getting our observed results if the null hypothesis is true, we reject the null hypothesis. The, uh, you know what I forgot here in our rush? I forgot to say something along the line. I'll type it here. And 0, 0.0, oops. And this would be a critical error. So I apologize for doing this, but it's probably good for you to see. Um, We reject the null since. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's not perfect. I apologize. So there's significant evidence that Haribo and Black Forest have different color distributions. Okay. Um, in terms of explaining how this test is different from a chi square test, again, as a fit. Notice here you've got two different samples. Okay, so that's one. And you're also comparing them to see if they're the same. So you're not comparing them to a set distribution that you know. Before we did M&Ms, 
M&M Myers company said these were the percentages. We were comparing them to that percentage. Okay, so essentially, it's you're comparing it to the population or what the expected population is. Right here, we don't know what the number should be, but we're just comparing these two different groups. Okay, and so that's the difference here. So that wraps up part one. Lots of writing, lots of fun. Go get some gummy bears, and then when you get back, start up part two. We'll formalize all this, and we will see you soon. Bye.